Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, today I am going to show you how to set up the fingerprint scanner on the Galaxy S8 and give you a really great tip that's going to dramatically improve your time with the S8. If you want to use the fingerprint scanner, the number one thing you should use is a case. So the reason why is because for all those uh, you know, knocking on Samsung for putting the fingerprint scanner in the back. Full disclaimer, I was definitely one of them before I got the phone. Uh, oh, you're going to accidentally hit the fingerprint scanner. No, you won't if you have a case. Because if you have a case, you're always going to be able to feel it out very easily. So, that being said, let's go into settings. Set this up under lock screen and security and do fingerprint scanner. First we have to put in our password and then we're going to scan our fingerprint. Now here's how I do it. I have rather chubby hands so I do it one side in the middle and then I do another side in the middle. This way I have two different fingers for one fingerprint so no matter how I hold the phone it will be able to save it. Now of course you can do this however you want but I find that this actually helps for my hand so if you have trouble with it scanning yours that's why. And again I will do it kind of edge like that's why it's giving me so many errors like make sure you hold it steady and center. No I want to be able to do it sideways and so that way that will unlock when I wanted to that way. And there you go. Now I'm going to add another one and kind of curve my finger so that it gets more of this side. And again, that way, no matter how I touch it, it's going to unlock for me. I know you're seeing a lot of error messages. You're like, oh my God, what is he doing back there? But, um, that's what she said, uh, but it's really just a great way of doing it and it makes sure that I never have to think about how I'm using the fingerprint scanner. It always works. So that's it now and now I can unlock it with my fingerprint. You can also do this for your all your passwords. So if you have Samsung Pass, basically this will remember all of your passwords just by using the fingerprint scanner on the back. You can also do this for your Samsung account, so again you don't have to enter in your password and for Samsung Pay as well. So this is how you can do it all just by having that. So let me know what you guys think. I really like it and I find it very easy to unlock my phone uh, via the fingerprint scanner. However, I don't time it out right away so I don't need it to unlock it normally. But after half an hour or 10 minutes depending on what I set it at typically, then I can use it and use it to unlock it. So if I want to go to my secure folder, I can do it that way. Oh, actually I have to enter the pin because I just made that fingerprint. But after the fact, I should be able to just go in. Oh, I have to set up. Never mind. You can also set this up for your secure folder. So if you want to log in with your secure folder, you can do that with your fingerprint and iris as well so that way you can unlock it whichever way and unlock it very quickly so that's how quick it is another tip on the fingerprint sensor that you should know under settings and then display you can actually do a fingerprint or well fingerprint gesture oh sorry it's under advanced settings you can do finger sensor gestures what this does is it allows you to swipe down so that you can see your notifications. This is a great feature and it's definitely one that I have grown to really like with this device. Alright guys, hopefully this helped you out with the fingerprint sensor on the Galaxy S8. If you have any other questions, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy.